Hey guys, let's go to problem 13. Determine the average rate of change. So we have to write an average rate of change. And what does that mean? You know, like I, I got to find f of x, which is going to be 2x squared. And from, it moves from x equals 2, from x equals 2 to x equals 3. Okay. So can we sketch the graph of f of x? I think we can sketch the graph of f of x, just a broad shape of the graph. And that looks like y equals 2 times x squared. And if I locate some x equals 2, and if I locate x equals 3, well, eventually what we're looking for is the slope of that line segment. So it's going to be slope of that line segment. And it's not the tangent line slope. It's going to be the secant line slope. If I actually extend it a little bit, well, you can see some kind of line that is passing through the curve. So it's going to pass through the curve. So if it, uh, the picture is kind of ugly, but you can, you can see what's happening out there. So what we're looking for is this is going to be 2 comma f of 2. And you can actually see that this is going to be 3 comma f of 3. And all I need to do is just to find out the slope between those two, two points. So I'm just going to write it slope. Okay. I'm going to write its slope, and that will be f of 3 minus f of 2 divided out by 3 minus 2. Okay, so what is this? What's f of 3? It's going to be 2 times 3 squared. And what's f of 2? f of 2, you can check that that's going to be 2 times 2 squared, and we divide it out by 3 minus 2, which is just 1. So there's no point of going over all of those 3, 3 minus 2. All we need to do is just to compute the upper part, 3 squared minus 2 squared. And you can check that that's going to be 2 times 5, I would say. So this becomes 10. So let's just try to, you know, let's just try to analyze the meaning of this 10. It means that the slope of this line, the slope of that line becomes positive 10. And it looks steep though, right? So that shall be 